Good morning, my name is Daryl Higginbotham and I'm president and owner of Marietta Non-Destructive Testing and also Southern Polytechnic graduate in 1989. Our company, Marietta NDT, designs and builds all types of special machines for non-destructive testing of aircraft and automotive systems. People ask us, what is engineering technology and how does it fit into our business model? Quite simply, it's a link. It's the key link between the applied side of engineering to the theoretical side and then down to the manufacturing component. You really have to have all three groups to make it work. Engineering technology is that key link that works with mechanical engineering people and electrical engineering theory-based engineers with the applied of the machinist, the fabrication technician, and more importantly, the assembly team that puts the machines together and makes it work. Engineering technology is a wonderful way to make a living. Students studying engineering technology are instantly hired in industry. They are the problem solvers, the ones that can make it happen and get the job done. We hope you enjoy this video. It's a combination of industry applications and the classroom environment you'll see at Southern Polytechnic. Uh, Southern Polytechnic, located in Marietta, Georgia, is a great university with about 6,000 students and is a fantastic school. I can recommend it highly. We have 50 employees here and probably two-thirds of our employees are Southern Polytechnic graduates. I hope you enjoy the video. Our ME program, like any quality engineering program, is very theory-based, math-oriented, research-based type program. So you're going to see that ME has a lot more math courses available to you or required. Whereas in the MET program, we're more industry focused. So we're going to have a lot more courses that focus on the industry skills that engineers have when they go out into the field. I love hands-on. I love to build things, fix it. And here I can get that type of creativity with all the labs we have here. From inception to implementation, I designed uh, floor plans for the factory, took time studies, and all of the learning and training that I got in MET prepared me for it. Maybe more hands-on. I'm always reluctant to say hands-on because it sounds like brains-off. And this is definitely not a brains-off program. The interesting thing I found about being an MET major is definitely the classes. You will never find a boring class. They will always catch your interest and they will always have a fun professor to go along with them. We are not just technicians. We have a lot of great teachers here. In engineering technology programs, we're required by our accreditation body to hire only faculty with significant industry experience. Where you'll typically find an engineering faculty that they went straight from graduate school into teaching with no real industry experience. I have a PhD in mechanical engineering. I worked with uh, piston manufacturing. Uh, my bachelor's degree is in mechanical engineering and my master's in engineering mechanics. And I have worked in the areas related to micro machinery. Truck chassis manufacturing. 13 years of industrial experience in the aircraft and chemical industry. We have four concentrations. Uh, engineering design graphics. We have manufacturing. We have the thermal energy area and we have machine design. A race team, they have parts that they're, they wanted manufactured. So the race team is, is machining those parts. They'll use that as an investment as far as a fundraiser. They'll machine the parts, provide them to the, uh, the racing team, and then they're gonna be selling them to other teams. The oil cap, that was initiated by a civil engineering uh, technology student. And then 
Uh, our lab supervisor, Kevin Starks, worked on the design. Another uh, faculty member in mechanical engineering technology worked on the project initially. And they actually brought in students from mechanical engineering technology to create the, the CAD models in SolidWorks, do the simulations that were eventually used and shown uh, out in industry to people who wanted to invest in the, uh, uh, the product. The MET program, I know uh, Southern Polytech has like a, a great reputation for producing some of the best engineers and I can testify to that because that MET program is challenging but it prepares you better for the corporate world, you know.